بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ویورس ونس اگین ٹو مائی چینل اف یو آر ایگزٹنگ سبسکرائبرز یو آر موسٹ ویلکم اف یو آر نیو ٹو دا چینل یو آر آلسو موسٹ ویلکم بٹ اف یو آر نیو پلیز ڈو فو گیٹ ٹو ہٹ دیٹ بیل آئی کون سو دیٹ یو آر ٹولڈ آف اینی نیو ویڈیوز دیٹ آئی پروڈیوس سو کیرنگ آن ود آور پریزنٹیشنز فار سیٹس and 11 plus today's topic is percentage change in other words we are given some values and we either know the amount that they've increased by or we need to calculate that then we need to calculate the percentage by which they go up okay so I have as always lots of examples so hopefully it will be uh, self-explanatory and as always Uh, I make the plea to start off with, please, please, like, share and subscribe, particularly the subscribe, which um, we need to improve. Please help in whatever uh, way you can by telling friends, um, family, uh, etc. so that we can um, improve the subscription rate. Uh, I am most, most grateful for those that have subscribed and do help, but we need to increase it even more please okay as always I have a starter and here you need to write a fraction uh, write these to uh, uh, sorry uh, this information as a fraction and then convert it into a percentage so if you look at the first one you need to look at the two um, units and see how they uh, are written as a fraction so 15 minutes as a fraction of an hour is 15 over 60 we simplify that which is a quarter and we just multiply that by 100 to get the answer 25 percent so I'll leave this up for five seconds so that you have a chance to write things down or um, do the questions now if you like and then we'll move on sorry about that so here are the answers to the uh, five um, starter questions okay so hopefully you got those uh, correct <coughs> okay, so moving on to today. today we will be looking at uh, percentage change uh, we've looked at increasing by a given percentage for example 10 percent one percent etc and then obviously either adding or decrease um, adding or um, well I should say decrease as well uh, taking uh, amounts off uh, today we're going to look at the actual values going up and showing those as a percentage so it will be self-explanatory once we do some samples so for this you need to be aware that there is a formula and the formula is that we work out the change we put it over the original amount and we multiply it by 100 okay so the actual change you know you, you will be either have to calculate or you will be given it <coughs> so we have an example here Ben has 250 pounds in his bank account at the end of the year he has 257 pounds and 50 what was the interest rate okay so we are told of an original amount but we're not told what the change is so we need to calculate that and it's quite easy it's 257.50 take away 250 because that is the amount by which it increased and we simply put it into the formula and the answer we should get is three percent so you need to be comfortable with figures uh, with and work them out without a calculator so I keep emphasizing you are not allowed to use a calculator in the SATs or the 11 plus okay so we'll be doing quite a number of examples so in this example there are 9,000 ants living in an ant hill after one year this number has gone up to 11,000 so we need to show the increase as a percentage once again we work out the actual change which is 11,000 
take away 9000 which of course is 2000 and the original amount was a 9000 and we just simply put that into the formula and the answer we should get is 22.2 to 1 decimal place okay you will be told uh, to what um, level of accuracy you have to uh, calculate uh, although in, in percentages very often it is a whole amount but here we're calculating to one decimal place okay so I'm going to pause this one for five seconds and we do need to read the question carefully because the information is given in a uh, different way just think about whether the calculation has been done and which figure is missing <coughs> okay viewers so if you notice we are given this information one of his rare ornaments increases in the value by 800 pounds so we are actually given the actual change but what we're not given is the original amount so the actual change is 800 so we need to calculate the original amount which isn't difficult it's 3500 take away 800 which of course is 2700 merely put that into the formula 800 over 2700 multiplied by 100 and the answer you should get is 29.6 decimal place okay so uh, you know you could get a bigger question but it's not really that difficult because what you've got here is two variations of the information so in 1918 an outbreak of influenza virus killed between 50 and 100 million people worldwide the world population at that time was estimated to 1,650,000 you have to use both values to show the range of percentages so we just merely put it into the formula we're given the uh, changes uh, really so it's not difficult so the actual change was 50,000 uh, sorry uh, uh, 50 million sorry to um, uh, and the population was 1.65 uh, uh, billion okay and the answer you should get there is 3.03% uh, 3 and on the other side the estimate was a hundred thousand and we have an original figure and uh, just looking at um, so putting that into the formula and we get the answer uh, 6.06 percent so um, I guess in those um, you know bearing in mind the year was quite a big variation double so unfortunately just like in today's uh, epidemic uh, a big big loss of life six percent well three percent is a lot and six percent uh, is uh, also a lot so you could get questions like this okay viewers so uh, that brings us to the end of another session i do hope i haven't gone through it uh, quickly please uh, tell me in the comments uh, section about the you know the figures and the way that they are presented so um, I'm afraid I will be doing going I'm not going to be changing the uh, format uh, PowerPoint uh, it's just the accuracy of them I think I've been accurate so far but please do tell me if I'm not uh, accurate okay so as always I've written five questions for you guys to try so I'll leave this slide up for five seconds so that you get a chance to uh, stop the videos and then I will reveal the answers then I think we we all know what we're going to do after that it is summarizing and then bid you farewell until the next video okay viewers I'm going to reveal the answer those are the answers to the five questions that I set again pause for a few seconds
Okay, so just summarizing, so we've learned how to calculate percentage changes and we've looked at a variety of worded questions. So that is what you will get in the SATs, sorry, SATs and 11 plus. And we've seen where this can be used in real life as well, which was the statistics for the influenza epidemic. Okay, thank you very much for watching everybody. Uh, please like, share and subscribe to the channel as uh, much as you can and hopefully I can uh, improve uh, my videos and I've, you know, unfortunately I've still got the remnants of the cough but I am getting uh, an awful lot better and hopefully you know I won't be uh, suffering too much consequence of that side effects. Today, in actual fact, my arms feel quite heavy because it's the 10th day uh, after the first injection. So, uh, but no, uh, nothing serious really. Okay, so hopefully I can do some outside uh, um, videoing and also try and do some English as well, which has been rather neglected. So all that remains for me to say is look after yourselves, uh, look after others, and try my Urdu again. Up na khayal rakna. Dusron ka khayal rakna. Hamein duaon mein yaad rakna. Until the next time. Goodbye. Allah Hafiz.